Good morning, everybody. It is a time for a stream. <laughs> Let me just uh, get in here. Oh my gosh, it's Nia and Novo. Good morning, both of you. Good to see ya. Just uh, loading stuff here. One moment. Hello. I am ready. Actually, I am not ready. <laughs> let me uh, let me load up some music here. It's a what? I suppose. <laughs> what the heck? Now let's turn the volume down a little bit. Loop the playlist. Actually, what if I shuffled it too? Let's do that. And visualizer. Let's do... Yeah, that works. Despacito. I don't want to get copyright struck. Anyway, let me go into the corner here. Anyway, what do you think of my new look? <laughs> this is this is my um my new model without the coat. I uh, actually worked pretty hard on this sweater. <laughs> I, uh, I made the texture myself. <laughs> it was actually like a flat color before, and then I was like, what if I found a sweater texture and tried to, like, apply it to this thing? So I did. And then I, you know, messed with the colors a little bit, and voila. All right. So... We got trucks. Make sure this is showing up. Yeah, there it is. All right. We're good to go. So, as you can see, this is my extremely bisexual Kenworth. I wanted to show you guys, I got some new um, DLC, so now I have everything they've added so far. Uh, so I can go from Bellingham all the way down to uh, Brownsville, or Galveston. So we go in, uh, let's see, I'm right now I'm in Minnesota, not, Min fuck, not Minnesota, Montana. Minnesota's over here. <laughs> Hey, welcome in, Jackson. Good to see you again. Alright. So let's do a job to see if I can go... See how far south I can go. Ooh, it's a heavy job. Giant silo. Going down to Lewistown. That might actually be fun. Do a little, do a little quick job first. Glad to just call Montana, Minnesota. Listen, they both have M names. Okay. Just be in the shadows for a bit. That's alright. I know Nia likes to lure. <laughs> oh yeah, I was in this like quarry thing. Oh yeah, let me um turn on my Thing here. Make sure this is working. Yes! I can do my... <laughs> okay. Alright. Oops. Right. Alt-tabbing out.
Did it- what? The music stopped? What happened? Oh. That was strange. Okay. Alright, so the, the, the job is at this other place. I'm hoping my truck is powerful enough for this uh, silo. Pain pickle. Oh. I swear I saw a car coming the other way. But I guess I guess not. Oh, my phone's not showing redeems again, damn it. Also, where am I? What the hell? Where the heck am I? Oh! VC face crashed. What? I was like... Hold up. Okay, there we go. That's weird. Yeah, VC face just closed. I think that was when the music stopped. That's weird. Okay, that's never happened before. Also, let me uh, fix something really quick. Gotta fix something with my phone. Okay, maybe that'll fix it. We'll see. Let me just check something really quick. Okay, it works. <laughs> Alright, so we got jobs. Oh, they have multiple jobs. Hmm. I could go further down to Wyoming, but I kind of want to see what this silo is like. Trucks, tanks are refilled and driving hours restored. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> These guys are out here in the rain fixing my truck up. Look at that. And I'm just sta I'm just sitting in there like, yep, that's me. GiantSilos.us. Is that a real website? All right. You're about to haul a special transport cargo. I don't think I've done this in uh, American Truck Simulator yet. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the route advisor. Special transports like this don't stop on a red signal and have the right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. <laughs> okay, so it's the same as Euro Truck Simulator, which is very weird because I feel like the rules for heavy transport would be a little different in Europe. But here we go. Is the lead car a cop? Interesting. It's not a it's not a little van, it's a cop. <laughs> and then he's like driving in the middle of the road. What the heck was that? It was like he was swerving to that other car on purpose. Anyway, look at that. That's huge, man. I'm excited. Do I have, uh, Beetleys? Yes, I do. Okay. Cop in front and a truck behind me? Is there a truck behind me? 
Oh, wow, there is. This is nice and relaxing. I can go 40 miles an hour. See, look, he's like going into the middle of the road when another car is uh, coming for some reason. Bizarre cop behavior. Why are you going so... Oh! It's 25 here. God, all these people must work for the... Uh... Oh, alright, I don't have to stop at the stop sign. All these people must work for those two big companies, like right there. Oh, there's another one up here, Global Mills. Ooh, Milk River. Is it milky? Not really, I mean, it's kind of milky, I guess. whole river of just it's just milk does not want people to hit your load oh yeah I guess that makes sense a cop actually doing his job incredible <laughs> What's that? It's a very odd uh, shape for a building. I wonder what that is. Oh, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> what is that? I think that's a concrete factory, isn't it? There's one of them, uh, one of those near my house. Oh, I can go 40 again. Hell yeah. We're zooming right along here. So what's the deal with this trailer? It's like... It's got like... Uh, is that two articulations? It's got one up here and then one back here. I don't I don't know what that scissor thing in, in the back is for. It's a church? It's an odd looking church. <laughs> oh. So something interesting. Last night I was uh, at work and uh, next to one of the places I work um, is this, like, Scientology building. They don't say Scientology on the building itself. Like, they're trying to be sneaky. But, I mean, they, it's like they want to be sneaky, but they're not, because they have a big copy of Dianetics in the window. So you know exactly what it is. You know exactly what they're doing. And then I looked in there, because, you know, it's like 2 a.m., so nobody's around, so I looked in there, and uh, there, are, there was all sorts of like crazy flyers about like drugs and stuff. I, I, I kind of want to go through them and see what it's like. Oh, like I, I'm just kind of like morbidly curious what they have to say about marijuana, because <laughs> there was a there was a little pamphlet for marijuana something. Since it's like fully legal here, so.
really weird seeing um, places that still don't have legal weed. Even within the country. Malta? This isn't Euro Truck Simulator. Wait. Oh, they have different speed limits for night. Interesting. Speed limit 65 at night, 70 during the day. That's fascinating. I severely doubt that anyone follows that. The really funny thing is, um, I live pretty close to where, like, two big freeways intersect, and, uh, one of them, the one that goes, uh, east to west, is, like, really slow. Like, the speed limit is 60, right? But every time I'm on there, everyone's only going, like, 50, you know? Like, 50 or 50. 55 is, like, the max. It's weird. Even at, like, 10 at night, there's people going, like, 50. There's nobody else around. They have no reason to go only 50, but they do it. And then the other freeway is, uh... Literally, like, Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> They're all going, like, 70. You go 90 to pass. <laughs> <laughs> like literally everyone is going 70 and if you're not they get pissed off and they like zoom around you hell I'm, I actually go 70 and uh, people still do that anyway it's just wild and it's like these two freeways are like polar opposites of each other. And I can't really... I can't really find a reason why people would act that differently on these two different freeways. But I want to find out why people are like this. <laughs> Especially because the Mad Max one is the one who go that goes uh, through downtown. And that's the wild one. I like how that biplane is out in the rain. That's actually gotta suck. Because he's got no, like... Hold up. Let's see... Photo mode. I want to take a look at this plane. Yeah, he's got like no... There's no one actually in the plane. There's no one in there. Um... Take a look at the different weather. Let's uh, adjust. There we go. Sunny weather time. Oops. Yeah. There's no pilot. It's maybe... 
maybe it's a uh, drone <laughs> drone piloting an old biplane crop duster. You could probably retrofit one to do that if you really wanted to. And there's the Milk River again. The milk has returned. Oh, we're in Malta now. Oh, and we're going to Lewistown, which is right over here. 139 miles. It's actually a pretty long trip for a... But then again, we're, um... Welcome to Malta. Then again, we're like, you know... Up in Montana. Not Minnesota. Montana. Is this the Midwest? Does this... Is, is Montana the Midwest? Does that count? Oh my gosh! Hi, Bidna! Welcome! Hello! Good to see you in here. Is that where Pilk was invented? That's a good question. I think if, if there's a Pepsi River nearby, then I would say yes. If, if these two rivers, like, combine somewhere into one big Pilk River. Oh. 55. Can I go faster? Yes. Look at that. Giant silos.us. Oops. Actually, I'm kind of curious if that's a real website. Let me look. Giant silos.us. Oh my god, it's not It's not registered. It's it's a completely up for grabs website. <laughs> Pepsi River. Catch me bathing in there. Mmm. Sticky. <laughs> I am horrifically addicted to Diet Pepsi. I can't have the normal stuff. It just it makes me feel gross. So I can't have like I can't have like real sugar soda. Cuz I feel like kind of not great after after drinking some. Like if if it's if it's at a restaurant with ice, I can deal with it. But if it's like right out of a can or a bottle or whatever, I'm like, eh. Free advertising from ATS. Yes. Just so just so some other trucker who is like, I wonder if this website is real, goes and uh, visits that website, and then. Uh, Wait, where'd the sound alert go? It was working <gasps> like... Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was a really late quake guy. What was it? What's the with the lag there? That's strange. Oh, yeah. I mean, that could be caffeine withdrawal, too. That's very common. That you, like, headaches are usually a, sim uh, a symptom of uh, caffeine withdrawal. Oh, wow. It's beautiful out here. Look at that. It's so flat, though. Are those crickets? 
I think those are... That sounds like crickets out there. Yeah. That's wild. Is that the Pepsi River? It's a little brown. It might be the Pepsi River. Oh, man. It's so nice to have people show up in the mornings like this. I wish I could do longer streams in the morning, but I, I just can't. Like, I gotta work tonight, so... I gotta get sleep at some point. Wait, did that say Route 66 back there? That's not Route 66, it's 191. Why did it say Route 66? I think Route 66 is, like, over here somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> God, I love this, like, weather weather channel music playlist right, right, right here. One of these actually started getting um, copyright strikes on YouTube. Or not strikes, but claims. County Route 66? Oh, that's true. My work is, uh, interesting. Like, I gotta work graveyard. So I'm technically streaming after work right now, because I got off work at, like, 5.45. But ideally, I want to get in bed by 10. <laughs> ideally. <laughs> And yeah, uh, Midna, I love American Truck Simulator. And, uh, like, I, I think ATS and Euro Truck Simulator 2 combined, I have, like, several hundred hours in each, like, uh, it, for both of them. US Route 66 runs from Chicago to LA? I didn't know I went to LA. Interesting. Oh, I haven't actually been to L.A. yet. It's like grayed out. If Route 66 is here somewhere. Well, there's I-10, I-5. Oh, I don't see it. Then again, I don't know what sign to look for. Is it these green ones? Let's see. No, it's these little white ones. I think. Oh, right. These are what it looks like in California. I forgot their signs are a little different. And then over here is, like, normal. Let's see. I have no idea where I'm looking at. Oh wow, they have Moab in this game? I've actually been here, in Utah. Um, it's it's like basically if you're like an outdoors person, it's like paradise. It's like an outdoorsman mecca. Like if you if you want to do like mountain biking or river rafting or rock climbing and stuff like that. Drivable Route 66 runs from Tulsa to LA. Oh, okay. Did they add Oklahoma? I don't think they got to Oklahoma yet. Yeah, no, it's still in progress. I'm amazed at the level of detail, to be honest, for what amounts to uh, a flyover state. That's what our, that's what us coastal elites call anything east of uh, Idaho. <laughs> It's, like, legit not on maps, really. So, you can only sort of get your kicks on Route 66? 
That's not very fair. I want to get my kicks on the whole Route 66. <laughs> Thank you for the sip. I will sip. Very good. Liquid. Oh, this is so relaxing. Not me driving a big truck at work for work and then getting home to drive a bigger truck. <laughs> I don't have my CDL or anything, so nothing this big. Ooh. Did I knock anything over? No. Looks like I almost did, though. Man, I love my new look so much. It's nice being able to finally come out and look like this. Like my uh, <laughs> quote-unquote evil version. Or whatever. Except I'm... It's impossible for me to try to even be remotely evil. Like, I don't know how. <laughs> I have to work on it. I can't really do evil trucking. I mean, I could, like, run into stuff. But also, like... I like having money. Actually... Uh... There's something I need to... I, I just remembered I have this. One moment. Yes. Let's see how I look with the uh, Spaceballs hat. Yes! That looks so good. Okay. <laughs> it's important that I have this. This is actually one of the first, like, props that I made for, uh, trucking, like, for my streams. Because even when I started out, like, one of the first things I streamed was Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> so I was like, I need a hat. What do I get? And then I like, stumbled on this Spaceballs cap. And it's, like, pretty much perfect. For those of you who are on, like, phone, watching me on, like, a phone or something, and you can't read the text, it says, We Break For Nobody. If I ever have enough free time to do, like, I don't know, big Discord community event things, um, and I do, like, watch-alongs, Spaceballs would be one of the things that we'd watch. But first, we have to, uh, we have to watch Yacht Rock. It's important. Like, that's the first thing on my list. <laughs> It's Yacht Rock, the web miniseries about a very smooth era of music. <laughs> Parentheses, slight dramatization. Okay, gotta make a wide turn here. That's a little too wide. Poor bus. All right, we almost there. Gonna 
pull off yet. Okay. That was a pretty flawless uh, delivery there. But also, this is like one of those jobs. If you do heavy jobs in either game, Lewis Town discovered it's like a barn. The whole the whole town is just a barn. Um, yeah, this is one of those things where if you like mess up in any way, like you go slightly off the beaten path, which is uh, the other lane, you know, or you like hit the car in front of you or behind you, you have to restart <laughs> at the checkpoint. Ooh, level 17. Hmm. Let's do high value. I guess I was min-maxing or whatever. I, I got all my hazardous uh, stuff and got my little bit of long distance. But it looks like I was going right up in, uh, to high value cargo. Ooh, new upgrades. What do we get? Let's see. Aerochrome. But, ooh. Tank. Chrome 260 gallon. Ooh. I didn't know you could customize the tank. Wait, what? <laughs> what is that? You can get a SEAL Team Tribute paint job? Is that only for the Volvo? That's so funny if it's only for the Volvo. Okay, we got Mount Rushmore for the Peterbilt. Hit paint, Eagle, Patriot. Can't wait for one of these to just be like, gun. Alright. Groovy camo. That looks pretty groovy. Camo wrap for the Western Star. Urban Torn. Stars on Stripes. We got America. America paint. Truck upgrades. I need to set a GPS to the nearest shop anyway, just because... Oh my god, is it that far? What's down here? Alright. Oops. Okay. So I gotta go to the nearest shop. I gotta repair my truck anyway. Can I go out this way? No. Wait, what is that guy doing? He's just... He's just vibing. He's like high on something. The Cannonball Run normally uses Route 66 to reach LA. Oh, interesting. So that's what that is. really gotta fix this issue. I don't know what's going on. Like, alt-tabbing out of a game, and then alt-tabbing back in, will, like, freeze everything for a bit, uh, for a minute. Like, it's okay if it only happened occasionally, but it happens, like, every time consistently. Street is going from New York, Red Bull Garage to LA. Damn, that's a long. 
that's a long run. That is uh, probably one of the longest runs you could make in the U.S. Unless you go from Alaska to Florida. Or <laughs> Maine to Hawaii. Yeah, just drive to Hawaii. The world's most happy cattle. Ooh. Oh yeah, I was reminded, like, okay, so one of the songs that I'm using for this, I, I, I was starting to talk about this, but then I lost my train of thought because, you know, I'm a VTuber. These things are normal for us. Um, but yeah, one of the songs on this playlist has, like, a copyright claim on it. Uh, so the last, like, ATS VOD I did had a copyright claim, and I was like, that's not possible. How? So I looked it up, and the song that claims... The song that YouTube thinks I used... is a Vaporwave version of the song that I played. So... Someone made, like, a slightly edited version of one of the Weather Channel songs here. Put it on an album, put it out on uh, streaming sites, etc. Probably used like CD Baby or something like that to, uh, you know, aggregate the album everywhere. And uh, didn't claim that it was sampled or a cover or anything, so the system now marks it as theirs. They own that song. So anytime you, someone uses the real song in a VOD or something, which normally is copyright free, uh, YouTube will be like, oh, this belongs to this person. <laughs> so I actually fought that one on YouTube. I put in a, I put in an argument to the rights holder going, hey, um, your, your dude did not make this song. And, uh, if they get back to me, I'll be impressed. Oh, I think I turned too early. Ah, no, I didn't. Yeah, this actually happened to me, um, another time for something completely different. Okay, oh yeah, truck configurator. Let's see. Exclusive side skirts. What's these ones then? Oh. Oval side flares. Oh! I didn't have any on here before, I guess. Why are the oval ones 400 and these are 250? Kind of like the circular ones better. Chrome Sun Visor Sharp. Or the Lux. I wonder which one. Hmm. I kind of like that one better. Does it match with this one? Yeah, sure. Why not? Chromed large flares. Yes. 2020 someone did the run in 25 hours and 39 minutes. Holy crap. Oh, this is the song right here. 
Of course, it's the one with the really, really good sax. Hmm. Do I need new tires? Not really. Headache racks. Yeah, sure. Let's put it on there. Why not? Exclusive mud flaps. I kind of like the white ones better. Even though, you know, normally they would get dirty. So, like, right, run the... You know, run the black ones. But, eh. Ooh. Kinda hot. Progress wide chrome. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty sexy. Wonder if that's uh, available for this too. Yeah. Ooh, look how shiny that is. Alright, now, inside, what do we got? Ooh! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a revolver chamber! In the middle! What the fuck? Oh, that's too much. That's too... This is... This is the most American thing I've ever seen. This is incredible. This German developer must be like... <laughs> Let's see how American we can make the accessories. And... I gotta say, they've really outdone themselves. Wait, I can have... Uh... How many? I can have four wood knobs on my... On my steering wheel? That's kind of hideous, actually. <laughs> what else we got? Flames? We got the... the... Playboy logo? Is that Playboy? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. This is horrid. Should I run the Should I run the the Colts? <laughs> what else we got? We got the Wait, why is it pink? What? Red here and pink over here. Can I change the color of it? Oh, it's to match the truck. Right. Oh, there's a lot more options than I was expecting. Like up here. Pinion truck color, pinion polyurethane, mahogany, Kenworth gray. Oh my god. The skull. <laughs> the skulls. Hmm. Honestly. The one that I had before was fine. The Kenworth exclusive. Let's just keep that. It's... It actually... No. No. I'm using the Colts! <laughs> That's so, It's so cursed. Alright, what else can we do? Oh, okay. Wait, I have a, a lunar module? I have the astronaut, air freshener, eagle. Okay, I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna keep the air freshener. What's this? Oh, it's more accessories, but I, they don't have anything, so I haven't unlocked it yet. Anything up 
here, back here, that I can do? No. Holy shit, what's this? Ooh. That's kind of nice. Tech Noir, oh my god. Not the fucking synthwave truck job, paint job. Calamity's aim. Holy shit. Cowboys. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, I like this one, though. Beyond the Rim. I actually really like that one. There, there's, like, more... What's with all the space stuff? Kind of interesting. Apollo 11. This would match my air freshener. Giant leap. One giant leap for mankind. 50 years. And it's got the eagle on it. There's no, like... Oh, I mean, there's this. But there's no, like... Funny Patriot stuff. Yeah, this is what I had before. This is this is what I called the uh, bisexual Taco Bell truck. So we'll keep we'll keep it with that. I've just, I just I'm very attached to this paint job. Okay, so I got the truck repaired. I'm gonna go take a nap. wheel is so bad. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Time to sleep for 24 hours. Okay. I've barely made money. Gotta hold it down. Oh yeah, so on the topic of like content ID stuff, I went down a rabbit hole um, like last year because okay, lights are on because I went and I got an email from Instagram one day that was like we had to delete your video for copyright infringement. And I was like, Nani? And it was a post from 2019. And it was a video of me, I think. I never got to take a look at it before they took it down. And they gave me no recourse to put it back up. Um, but they were like, I, I vaguely remember what it was. And it was me showing off my like stereo. And I was playing the Cisco hold music. Opus number one. And I was like, uh, wait, how is that only now getting a copyright claim? Ooh, let's go to Alamosa. Or, but. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to Alamosa. So that was the first time that happened to me, um, where. I had something deleted from Instagram because of copyright, and uh, it was like a t it was like from like 2019. So it was like at the time it was like a four no three year old post. Wait, that was a quick job. That's not what I wanted. Okay, we'll go to Salt Lake City, I guess. You must finish it before... Oh. 
I guess I gotta finish this job in this truck that's not mine. What a shame. Well, at least we're going from a place we're currently at to somewhere we haven't been, so... We'll try out the Freightliner. It's got one of those ridiculous, like... Um, it's got one of those ridiculous dashboards that looks like it was designed by the team that made Music Match Jukebox. Um, anyway, yeah. So, this video used the Cisco Hold Music, right? And that's never been copyrighted. Because I, I went down a rabbit hole of, like, researching the song. So the people who made that for Cisco worked for Cisco at the time. And it was these two guys who just, like, made music in their garage or whatever. Um, so when they were tasked with designing Cisco's, like, VOIP shit, right? So... They're like, let's just put this song we made as the hold music. And there was never any like official paperwork signed between them and Cisco. It's just it just belongs it belongs to them officially. But they've just they decided to make it like okay to use wherever, right? As far as I know. Uh, but that video got a takedown from some random guy um actually no it was it was another one of those uh what's the word distribution services that just uploads a shit ton of stuff everywhere um it did a match for that song on instagram and it got red light violation Come on! Fuck it, I'm just gonna go. Um, <laughs> I got the violation, I might as well already go. Um, so, yeah, and I checked the original song that they claimed I stole for their video, right? And it was a... It was literally like a guy rapping to the Cisco hold music with like an extra beat added on top and I, I was just like are you kidding me this isn't their song but the system thinks it is I got heated and I was talking about this on Twitter and the guy who wrote the song replied to me on Twitter <laughs> not not the 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 remix the, like, original Cisco hold music. Like, I got to talk to the guy. And it, he seems like... He seems like he... He barely replies to anyone. He had, like, 36 tweets or something like that. And he's had the account since, like, 2011 or something. <laughs> so he doesn't tweet very much, but he replied to me, of all people. So I got to talk to the legend behind Opus Number One, or at least one of them. Though I asked him a question that, and he never answered back. So, fuck. I need my brights on, Jesus. Um, where was I? Right. So, Instagram gave me, like, no recourse anywhere to, like, contest this. They just delete the song. Like, they just delete your post. I, I no longer have the original video, because it was from, like, an older phone that I used to have. So I don't have the actual video anymore, so I couldn't repost it anywhere if I, if I wanted to. So it's just gone. Oh yeah, Instagram is really weird about copyrighted stuff. Um, I've actually had them... Uh, this was years ago. I tried to take a picture of... Oh... Oh jeez, I just barely didn't make it. Um, 
I tried to take a picture of some, like, Pokemon toy, right? And I had really good signal. I was trying to upload the picture, right? And it was like, you know, uh, unknown error, can't upload photo. And it kept telling me that. Like, I kept taking the picture, and it was like, sorry, we can't upload that. And it wouldn't really tell me why. Cause I, but I was taking pictures of a bunch of other stuff, and it was fine. But it was specifically this picture of, like, Jigglypuff or something. It would, like, not let me post it. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So, yeah, that's just the kind of internet we live in. Can't take a picture of a damn Pokemon. Because it's a trademark thing. Instagram, like, that was, I think that was the, the turning point where I just started using Instagram less and less because it kept, like, they kept changing too much shit. I, I joined Instagram because it was a photo app and you could just take a photo, put a filter on it, and upload it. And that was it. That was all it did. And it was fine. And that's what made it popular in the first place. And then they're like, no, we want to be a video platform. <laughs> And it just became harder and harder to just take a photo in the app. And I, I just don't understand, like... But that's that's the direction the company wanted to go. They had two different versions of their... Them trying to be like Snapchat, they had two different versions of that. They had like the feeds thing, and then they had some other thing that they introduced, that was literally the same thing, but in, like, a different shape. And it, they were, they're two concurrent features. I was so confused by this. But it has nothing to do with why I actually used Instagram, so I, I just gave up. Yeah. But yeah, that was my... Oh. Cops. Oh! That was a stoplight. <laughs> I'm a good driver, I swear. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, where was I? Um... Facebook wanted to make Insta be their TikTok. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, Instagram saw Snapchat and wanted to do that. And they still do the thing. They still do that where it's like the 24-hour lasting photos or whatever. Vega! Hello! My god, you're back! <laughs> Good to see you, Vega. Guess what, Vega? We're in... Uh... Montana. We're going to Colorado. We are trucking so hard right now. Also, it stopped raining, like, really fast. Mad! Oh my gosh! Wait, have I seen Mad in the chat before? Oh, I guess I have. Ah! Oh, the crunch! Oh, God. That's, that's what I get for alt-tabbing out. Oh, wow, it really... Oh, Jesus. Okay. You are mad. Why you have to be mad? Oh yeah, Vega, I got all the DLC. So I'm kind of checking it out. <laughs> Unheart 2? Oh my goodness! So many people are here! 
Hello, everybody. Lurking a bit. <laughs> so, I don't think... I don't know, uh, Unhard, I don't know if there ever really was a uh, good social media platform. But there was definitely, like... There was definitely a point where they should have stopped but kept going to see how far they could go. Oh, I have to go here. I think the big the big problem I have with social media is the algorithm shit and their like unwillingness to do what people actually want, which is view posts in order. Like, every social media, big social media site is like, you want to view posts in order? Are you sure? Well, we'll show, we'll show them in order for five minutes, and that's all the time you'll get. Because uh, we'll change it to back to the uh, curated thing <laughs> when you're not looking. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Like, they, you, you're not allowed to look at chronological timeline anymore. And actually, one of the biggest things that, like, makes me want to leave Twitter is not so much that, that like, Elon owns it now. Because I had him, I've had him blocked since, like, 2012 or something. I don't know. Um... But like, so I don't really care. Like, I don't, I don't see what he says or anything. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing that made me want to like stop using Twitter is the fact that they killed off the third-party API like overnight without telling anyone, and then told everyone like the day afterwards, like, oh yeah, we're we're getting rid of the third-party API. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, so all the all the apps that I was using to like look at Twitter and be sane uh, are were like just useless overnight, and I was so fucking mad. I mean, Twitter has the most toxic members because literally everyone is on Twitter. There's like how many? Like, how many billions of people are on there? But, um... It, what was nice, with a chronological timeline, with none of the things that Twitter was trying to throw at you, uh, like, by using a third-party app, you didn't see any of that shit. You don't get... You don't... Like, it wasn't trying to shove the, like, hot takes into your face. It was only what your friends were posting and RTing. That was it. Yeah. The API integration was like half of the point of Twitter in the first place. There were so many third party developers for it. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, well, fuck you. You're welcome for the decade or so of API. Even with the limitations they had on it for so long, it was still, like, fine. Oh, Oh, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. The thing about... The thing about the algorithms is what drove me insane about, like, any social media. Yeah, you do have a point. Reddit can be a cesspool, but, like, only if you go to that subreddit. Like, what are you doing in that subreddit, you fool? You absolute buffoon. Just leave. Like, that's one good thing Reddit does. <laughs> J 
Just walk out. You can leave. Yeah, there are some uh, there are some pretty bad echo chambers on there. But that's that's another thing is like you can there, there might be a, a different subreddit based on the thing you want to read. <laughs> Well, you only use the Twitter API if you're, like, a developer. Um, but the API de for the, de the developers were making things like uh, Twidere or TweetDeck or... Um, well, TweetDeck used to be a third-party thing, but I think that Twitter made it official, like, a long time ago. <sighs> I don't like this track. Oh, no. It's the last one. Well, sure, whatever. We'll we'll keep it. Um, yeah, I was using this uh, this app on my phone called Twidere, and that was you could load multiple Twitter accounts at the same time. Like long before that was a thing, even on web Twitter, where you could switch between the accounts. Uh, I don't even know if you can do that on the official app. I will not download it. The whole King Killer Chronicles subreddit completely turned on Patrick Rothfuss because any person still hopeful from Book 3 was essentially bullied out. Oh no! <laughs> you can? Yeah. I could. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious to try the official Twitter app because I've never I used it for like a, a little bit a long time ago. And it was intolerable even then. Yeah. Most apps actually are. They're just like web app things. Like Discord, for example. pretty out here, actually. I like this. Southern Montana. Actually, we might be in... Are we in Wyoming yet? No. Not quite. But almost. <laughs> yeah. Those... There, you know, there was that one Discord update where... For Android specifically, they like removed. Why is everyone going so slowly? Oh my god. Uh, for Discord, they like removed the um, di uh, Android native Android version for some reason, and then turned it into the iOS app with a wrapper apparently. And since then, it's had like so many bugs for me. Like, it has, like, legit display bugs that haven't been fixed. Like, sometimes the channel list will go invisible, and I'll have to, like, re like force quit the app and then restart it <laughs> to, to, like, fix things. It's really irritating. I used both of those, like, extensively. It's, it's like, little annoyances is why I do that. So, Better Discord, for example, I have a plugin that allows me to, um, reply to, reply to chats with, like, 
uh, the ping turned off by default. Because I don't like pinging people for, like, random shit. I'm just personally not that kind of person. Like, I don't like- I don't like pinging people unless I really need to. So having that off by default so I don't have to click it off every time I reply to something is nice. <laughs> you, you don't? Oh my god. It drives- things like that drive me insane. Why is that? Because it's, I don't know, I find it kind of irritating. It's like, if I'm just replying to you and going like, yeah, you know, I don't think that's worth a ping. My cursor is always like... Oh. Oh, I get it. I see what you did there. <laughs> Might need to get gas soon here. That's Vega, always being cheeky. The cheeky to my bricky. Where's the next gas station at? What's this at the end of the road? What is that? I kind of want to see what that is. What a weird thing. It's like right at the end of, a, of this road for some reason. And I'm going to have no turnaround, but I'm going to do it anyway. Kind of sounds like Wii Sports music. <laughs> oh, it's not a four-way stop. Wait a second. That's not a justification to use better Discord. Cause it's just a it's just a thing that goes on top of regular Discord. Unless they claim to like block the tracking and data collection stuff. I have discovered a recruitment agency. At the ass end of a little road. Great. I mean, I guess there is a lot of demand for, like, oh god, where am I going? This way. There's a big draw to having, you know, data collection blocked or whatever, but... Most people aren't going to be, like, affected by any of this. It just feels creepy when people are asking for your info without your consent, I guess. I don't know if schizophrenic is the right word you want to use. I think paranoid is a little more appropriate.
Is it really? softly disagree. That's the same kind of justification for disagreeing with the punishment for a crime and just and someone going like, well just don't uh, just don't do the crime and there's no problem. When the uh, when the thing that's you know established and uh, the thing that exists that people are disagreeing with is an established thing, but might be unethical in certain ways. Like, you know, certain states you'll still get locked up for, like, weed possession, you know? Which most people will consider, you know, morally wrong. Or such, like, a small thing, you know? That people will be like, well, just don't, uh, just don't smoke weed. You know, that's not really a good justification. It's kind of like dismissive in a way. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing, too, is, uh... Things can happen in the future. Yeah. Exactly. There are actually quite a few people that I would know personally who, uh, have very good reasons to hide their data for um, future-proofing, let's say. Oh, there was a gas station right there. God damn it. Is there, an, an, is there a highway one coming up? Uh, let's see if I can make it to that one. Anyway, I will say this. So, uh, in our current society, there is a uh, large minority of people who every day keep tabs on, you know, current events. And uh, every one of them ha mentally has a plan for going, uh, for where they're going to go when uh, their state government declares them an illegal person. And uh, if their existence becomes illegal, uh, any evidence online will be used against them to be uh, prosecuted or persecuted or whatever else. Okay, Amma, but you also talk to, like, really annoying people constantly. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you keep the company you do. Because it seems like you just 
enjoy arguing, to be honest. And I think we're talking about different things. In any case, honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to talk about something else. Casper discovered. Wow. The equality state. I got an achievement for the equality state. Is that Wyoming? Is, is Wyoming the equality state? I guess everyone's equal here because there's only like a hundred people that live here. Ooh. Wait, what was that? I wonder what that was. Yeah, there are people like that. There are a lot of people like that. Wyoming Boulevard. The one boulevard in Wyoming. never actually been to this state, so I don't know what they have. What does Wyoming have to offer? Oh, here's the gas station. I guess they have gas stations to offer. In. Wow. Oh, that, that one's closed off, so I gotta use this one. That's fine. Ugh. Oh, my neck. Ouch. I could probably nap here, too. I have 30 hours left. Well, let's go take a nap. Okay, so get this. I was working last night, right? And I was... Uh, we were at the gas station refueling the truck. And, uh... This was, like, right at the beginning of my shift. So, you know, around, like... 9... 9 o'clock-ish or so. Oh. I can just park here. How about that? Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Lily! Hmm. This way. Who wants a body massage? <laughs> Me. Lily, I'm so tired. Oh, anyway, so my story about the gas station. So at the beginning of my shift last night, I go to the gas station, fill up the truck, and I went I went inside to get a snack, right? Get the snack, come out, there's a guy standing next to the, the, the door of the gas station. And he's just, he's just like standing there, chilling, right? Um, and then I, uh, as I open the door, I hear this like, very familiar sound. But not in a place where I would, would want to hear it. Oh, let me, let me sip, I guess. So anyway, 
I look down at this wet noise that I'm hearing, and the dude is like peeing right there. And he's not doing it on the building, he's just doing it on the ground, like away from the gas station. But he's standing right next to the door. If he had turned, like, towards the door, he would have got me. <laughs> so I almost fucking got peed on today by some random fucking guy who was just standing there with his dick out and he's just peeing. Like, right on the ground. I was, like, I, I couldn't process what I was seeing for a second because I was so, like, blown I was blown away that this like there's no way he someone could pee right there right and I was I was like all right I guess you could do that right there my dude and then I just want went back to the truck and had to sit there and like think about things for a minute So, um, yeah, so that happened to me. Oh, and then, okay, so... Not only did he do that, he just kept standing there in his own puddle. Like, he, he wasn't even... Like, he, I don't even think he knew where the hell he was. Like, his mind was just gone. But yeah, it was one of those did that really just happen moments. Like, I couldn't fucking believe this. Right in front of my salad. <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe it. Like, you know, I've seen a lot of... <laughs> this this sounds you know this sounds so bad when I put it like this but it's like you know I've seen a lot of guys pissing at my job but never like that <laughs> they usually find a corner or something or well honestly they go in an elevator or whatever you know people used to pee in an alley they would find an alleyway and they would go there behind a dumpster or something or a trash can but no, now they just go wherever they want. <laughs> and it, 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 I'm just dumbfounded at how many people just pee wherever the fuck they want. Man, this is just me bitching the whole stream, huh? I've just been doing nothing but bitching about stuff the entire time. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that, I'm just venting. This is a fucking vent stream now. Dropped a user in the walkway? Oh my god. Yeah, venting stream. Yeah, kind of sus. <laughs> yeah, I've, a lot of stuff. And then, um, there was. God, there was so much trash that I picked up. Like, the truck bed was overflowing with, with trash bags. It was ridiculous. There's not a lot of respect for public spaces in this city. <laughs> Lily, are you serious? Is that what my stream? Is that what my morning streams usually are? Is just me bitching about things? I'm sorry, I didn't really. That was not my intention. <laughs> I want to make comfy streams that people can relax at, but no, I'm just here to complain. I'm. A, I'm gonna be honest. I never cared about Avatar. <laughs> Like, I knew it was going to flop, because the original also kind of did. I guess it made a lot of money, but like, 
Nobody cared about it after two weeks. Usually complaining or low energy. Or both. What time is it? 9.30. Okay. Like, hmm, I don't know. It was a good visual spectacle, I suppose, but uh, I didn't really... I don't remember most of what happens in that movie. I just remember some, like, some dude in a mech or something. And that, that part was kind of cool. But boy, it really is Pocahontas in space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lily, we, we said it's Pocahontas in space at the exact same time. <laughs> same brain. I don't think it fl Like, I know it made a ton of money. But, like... I feel like culturally it flopped. Because, like, nobody. Like, nobody I know remembers anything that happened in the movie. <laughs> other than the fact that it was just Pocahontas. Three. <laughs> yeah! That's, that's something I don't get. It made all that money. Like, three billion dollars, right? And I think the only record that it broke was Titanic, who he also directed. And then there's the other Avatar movie. Um, <laughs> the one directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> I actually never saw that one, but um, I never really was invested in the cartoon in the first place. It was one of those cartoons I missed, like, growing up, I suppose. Like Spongebob. I never saw Spongebob, Invader Zim, etc. Like, those early 2000s cartoons that everyone else has seen but me for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I hear it's good. I just never ended up seeing it. There's a lot of TV I didn't watch. Because uh, I was too busy playing video games. <laughs> Probably good you didn't didn't see Spongebob? Is... I mean, I've seen, like, clips of Spongebob. And I thought some of it was actually pretty funny. Oh! I gotta go into the way station. Oh, Jesus. He broke, he broke way too fast. Braked way too fast. I'm just gonna go around you. Oh, now you go. Come on. Let me in. Listen, I get invested in chat, and like, that's when that's when this shit happens. This is when I get too invested in what's going on in chat, and I'm just kind of an autopilot. Yeah, Lily, I know. I'm sorry. I know I can't do this either. Wait, what? Oh, that's a different horn. Not quite as jarring. What does it sound like out here? It's kind of cute, actually.
It actually sounds like a train a little bit. Loveland. That's where I want to be. Oh, yeah. I remember the unobtainium. And I was like, did he really just call it unobtainium? Like, I was laughing at that. It was funny. Subtlety is, uh, not in his vocabulary. The funny thing is, though, there's a lot of things, like... Uh, there's a lot of things, like minerals or molecules or whatever with, like, Greek or Latin names that can mean something just as stupid as unobtainium. <laughs> can I name any examples right now? No, I am tired. Oh, actually, here's something that I think was really clever. Um... Have you ever heard of uh, Fordite? It's really interesting. It's like... Uh, that stuff that forms in the Ford factory when they're painting the cars. And it's like little chunks of like layers of the paint. And it, they're actually very, uh, very beautiful. But it's just like, it's literally just like layers of paint sediment that uh, you can chip off and just like, I guess, look at. A material with specific properties that doesn't exist as far as I know. Oh, so it's an actual term? What the hell? Hold up. Coffee? Coffee! Coffee break. That's good. <sighs> oh, Denver discovered. Holy crap, I discovered Denver. Look everyone, it's the entirety of Denver. You got rail export, sell goods, a hotel with a gas station, a mechanic. I didn't know we were in Colorado already. We just kind of flew through Wyoming. There's their uh, stadium thing over there. Maybe we can uh, get a good look at it. Wait, what? Is that really stay Field Stadium? That's amazing. Field Stadium.
It's not... It's not actually Field Stadium in real life, is it? Let me look. Denver Stadium. <laughs> Field Stadium. You would you would not believe that. Empower Field, Invesco Field? It has, like, different names. What the heck? The world's most iconic sports stadium. Sports Authority Field. What's it really called? It's got, like, a bunch of different names. Okay, I guess currently it's Empower Field. At Mile High. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Empower Field. Okay, let's wait for the crunch to finish. Is there a no crunch? No FPS crunch gonna happen? Interesting. It didn't happen that time. So, since they can't use it, uh, a brand, they had to rename it Field Stadium. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up there. That was that one was my fault. I should have I should have uh, known better. like get penalized because it's not my truck I've I have two percent trailer damage but no cargo damage at least <sighs> oh right 75 oh man So I have some good news, at least. Oh, Colorado Springs already? Oh yeah, so anyway, I have some good news. Um, and one thing that did happen at work that was good was uh, I popped my elbow. And this was, so this was the one that, um, this was the one that got fractured, right? And I was out for two months for, for, right? So I popped my elbow and it like felt better. So it was like a normal pop as opposed to like me worrying that it was going to refracture or something. You've discovered a new viewpoint. So it was like a good pop and oh, it felt so good. Oh, man. Yeah, Vega, every time I move, uh, my one of my bones will pop, at least. What 
what the fuck? Discount lawyer. 555 divorce. Oh no. Skeleton. Drew Dix Parkway. Hold up. <laughs> Who's been drawing dicks? Pueblo, the Centennial State, Achievement Progress, 3 of 13. That's so good. Drew Dix. Oh, I'm so immature sometimes. Poncha Spigs? What's this? Spags? Spogs? What's SPGS mean? SPGS sounds like an acronym. Hmm. Maybe. South Plains Genealogical Society? I don't think that's right. <laughs> it could be something in Spanish. Because there's no planes in Colorado, as far as I know. Self-propelled gun? The gun that shoots itself. Oh my god. I'm getting eepy. Oh! Oh, yes! I think you're uh, onto something there. So it's something else springs. Maybe there's a couple other springs in uh, Colorado. At Stem Beach. I'm just very joyous over that draw Drew Dix Parkway. <sighs> Thank you, Alma, very helpful. Speed limit is 75, why is everyone going so slow? The dude in the Mustang is going under the speed limit. Probably the Serbian one? Yes. Oh, that kind of propelled. Tiberos! Hello, welcome in. 
What is our destination? Uh, Alamosa, Colorado. We have driven there all the way from Lewistown, Montana. It's actually a, it was actually a wonderful drive. It's scenery that I don't see very much, given that uh, I live in a very mountainous area. Um, which actually looks more like this. Uh, Colorado topographically is very similar. You look like a skilled driver. Yeah, look at my hat. I'm official. <laughs> Watch for wildlife on road. There's probably not going to be any wildlife on the road. My first truck simulator? No. I was telling people earlier, but between this and Euro Truck Simulator, I have, I think, like, a, at least a few hundred hours in, uh, uh, overall on both of the simulator games. Women want fish, me fear me. That's my favorite one. I like my Spaceballs hat, though. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of funny, like... Uh, my kind of humor is stuff like... I'll, I'll think that the... Uh, that, like, really epic, dramatic, uh, fishing cap with, like, the whole paragraph is also really funny. But then the thing that is, like, more funny to me is the really simple stuff like that. Which is just, like, short, nonsensical things. Because, like, my, my sense of humor is very strange, apparently. And it's something it's something uh, I've talked to Ari about because like honestly it's it's kind of funny like our senses of humor are very different so like I'll laugh my ass off at something and they'll be like what what's so funny <laughs> and then likewise for me like I don't know. No, no one's uh, sense of humor is going to be one to one for sure. There are some things we find funny though. Uh, both of us, like uh, fart jokes, <laughs> or just farting, I guess. But everyone thinks that's funny. The point is to find some common ground. <laughs> Like, uh, I got to teach Ari the, um, the Indonesian word for fart is, uh, rot. <laughs> Thanks, VTubers, for teaching me useful Indonesian words to use. Because, like, honestly, when I get home, it's like... 6.20 or 6.30 in the morning. The only people streaming... <laughs> I heard that. The only people streaming are, like, Indonesians. So I end up watching a lot of them. The world's most happy cattle. Smells like comedy. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Ugh. Yeah.
different languages, um, onomatopoeias are fascinating to me. I know, like, most of the Japanese ones because I'm a fucking weeb, but, like, learning other ones, like, from Indonesia has been fantastic. Like, brot is great. Uh, oh, you know what? I had this realization, because this happened to me the other day. I, I burped, right? Except, it sounded like burp. Like it was, it was a authentic burp. Like, I was like, oh, that's why we call it burps. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not very ladylike, but you know, I'm not exactly ladylike in a lot of ways. <laughs> I'm not a proper lady. Only some of the time. That says one way, but I'm gonna go this way. Wrong way? You can't tell me what to do. I just want to discover this detect uh, this recruitment Who agency. Wants the of the detective agency. I'm totally going the wrong way. Just uh, as long as nobody comes this way, I should be okay. Wrong way violation. Two sixty. No. Boo. Oh, they're coming this way. Don't worry, I'll move out of your way for you. I'll just drive on the side of the road. Oh no! Oh! Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> okay, now I can get back on the right side of the road. <laughs> Okay, well. Only. <laughs> How did I not crash into anything? That's incredible. Oh. I honked my horn and then an actual train came. Grab a screen cap <laughs> I came in and looked like a skilled driver. Listen, I've never driven in Wyoming before, okay? It's very confusing. I didn't know they had one-way streets out here. Oh god. So I guess to continue with the theme of me bitching about work, um, so I was coming home last week, and I was trying to get onto the freeway exit, but there's a train track right there, right? And of course, what is there? That was a very short train. Um, what is there but a huge freight train? Oh, I got a sip. Okay. Thank you. So what is there but a huge freight train, as I'm trying to get to the freeway to get back home? Also, that is the destination, I guess. Sorry. Get out of the way. <laughs> I am a good driver. Hey! That was your fault. That wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> Where do you need it? hit my bumper? I did. Anyway, what was I saying? Right. So this this train was going at like five miles an hour. Maybe less, actually. And it just kept coming. And coming. And coming. And I was like, you know, ten, 15 minutes later, I'm like, alright. Is, uh, is it gonna end? Uh, that, that car will be okay. I am insured by the company that I work for, because I'm doing a quick job. Just assume I have insurance. 
But also, I have $129,000 I can just give you. Anyway, where was I? Right. So I wait for like 15 minutes for this train to go by. Um, then I notice there's a guy next to the track, like waving the tr uh, the train along, and I'm just like, oh no. Then the train stops, and it starts going the other way, and I was like, I can't do this. So, oh jeez, oh my, oh my arm. <laughs> so thankfully there was a turnaround that I used, but then I was trying to look for the other freeway uh, on-ramp and I got lost. It took me a whole hour to get home when normally it takes me about 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> so. I was so... I was super tired by the time I got home, and I was super mad. And I just wanted to, like... I don't know. I'm really glad that I had... Like, I stopped at Jack in the Box and I got a sandwich. <laughs> that specific day. Because I was eating that while <laughs> waiting for the train. <laughs> it helps me not be so mad. Alright, anyway... Uh, it is... Almost 10 o'clock, so I'm going to call that a good stream, I think. Progress will be saved automatically. Let's go. Alright. So. Uh, go to here. Do do do. Alright. So. There is... I should really get a hotkey for these. Okay. There, now you can see my hat better, too. Um, alright. So, yeah, thanks for watching my stream, everybody. I had a surprising amount of chatters today, and I was, I'm really happy about that. Um, even some people that haven't uh, been in here before. Uh, new follows. You know. <laughs> thanks, Tiberos. Sorry, I know you just got here, but... Uh, these these morning streams of mine are very short. Uh, I just don't have a lot of free time while I'm working, you know. Oh man, that looks so good in this sweater. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Let's see. How does that look? How does that look? Yeah. There we go. Oh god, the hat. <laughs> right. It's a 2D sprite. Illusion ruined. I'm sorry, everybody. Everyone does what he can. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm trying. Thing is, with my schedule being, you know, four tens. Um, during those times I work, uh, I don't get a lot of free time. Uh, because it's like I get like four hours to myself, you know. And most of that is taken up by preparing for work, or preparing to go to bed, or whatever. Which is what I should be doing right now. In any case, let's see if we can raid into anybody today. Who do we got on right now? Anybody I know? Let's find out. Oh, we got Shrilly, we got Mom. Mom is on. Who else is playing American Truck Simulator? Let's see. Any VTuber is playing <laughs> American Truck Simulator? Hmm. Let's see. There's a dog. There's there's a Russian dog playing uh, playing American Truck Simulator. It's like one of those old 3D face rig things. Holy crap. Uh, who else we got? That person is playing Call of Duty on the American Truck Simulator Day. <laughs> and also someone else is playing Europa Universalis on the American Truck Simulator Tag. Or category, I should say. That's kind of wild. Alright. 
Um, let's see. Who do I want to go say hi to? Um, I guess we'll we'll go into Shrilly. Uh, cause Shrilly has. If Shirley only has four people, it must mean she just started, because she usually gets a lot more than that. Yeah, it's only been 30 minutes. Well, we'll send more people Shirley's way. Uh, raid. Really? VT. No, it's not VT. VR. <laughs> right, because Shirley's a VR girl. All right. Go say hi to uh, this cutie. She is very cute and comfy. Um, I don't know about comfy right now, though, because she's playing The Walking Dead. Uh, Saints and Sinners. I don't know how comfy that is, but yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're you're welcome, everybody. I guess. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Um, I got some shoutouts to do, so I got three follows in the past couple days. Actually, I got a follow from Doctor Smarty Pants MD, who's uh, a friend of a friend. And she's another VTuber, it looks like, or at least a PNG tuber, and she has a very cute model like her. Then I got another follow from Midnaminda, who is, uh, at, amazingly enough, it's a VTuber that I met over Mastodon. <laughs> and uh, she's fantastic. I, I was able to catch one of her streams yesterday. Was it yesterday? Maybe. Yeah, it was nice. It's very comfy. I know a lot of really great comfy streamers. Uh, also, I got a follow from Shining at Madurasu. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna get out of here before the timer runs out. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.